Our next speaker is Elizabeth Martin with Leva Nova. She is the medical science liaison. Welcome, Elizabeth. All right, sorry for all the technical difficulties here. <laughs> um, but yeah, thank you for the introduction. I'm Elizabeth Martin. I'm one of the medical science liaisons with Leva Nova. Um, and over the next couple minutes, I just want to share with you guys what we've been doing at Leva Nova over the last year and kind of how we've been um, handling the COVID-19 pandemic. So just a quick slide on our indications for use for our Tandem Life products. Please feel free to reach out to your local rep or um, you can find everything at tandemlife.com as well for more information. So Levanova is fully functioning in the United States and around the globe. All of our manufacturing, warehouse, customer service, shipping, quality and clinical support teams are 100% and ready to help you all support your patients. The picture here on the left is of our shipping warehouse in Arvada, Colorado currently turning out an incredible number of shipments per day, many of them being same day shipments. In the middle here is one of our wonderful customer service reps ready to help you with any of your non-clinical needs. And then on the right here is a group of our field team, part of our Tandem Life Clinical Group um, after an on-site advanced education course just a few months ago. So we have many clinical consultants across our, all of our CV group um, with deep procedural understanding to support all of your unique needs. So over the past year, we all know that there was, and in many locations, really still is an increased need for support to manage the COVID pandemic. We're proud to have partnered with healthcare providers such as yourselves to help support these incredibly sick patients. So at Leave and Nova, we try to take a patient's first approach and really enable you all as providers to treat more patients in more places. More hospitals than ever before are using our products. In 2020, we saw double digit growth and the number of patients supported with our acute circulatory support products. But what we're really proud of is that um, over 500 severely ill COVID patients were able to be supported with our products this last year. We also really value meaningful innovation. So we were really excited to fully commercially launch our new LifeSpark pump and controller in July of 2020. And then we also focused heavily on educational webinars targeting topics that are really needed in the marketplace today. So in addition to you know, continuing to grow and release new products, we also very quickly got our FDA emergency authorization for many of our products, which I'll show you on the next slide. Um, and we continue to expand our field team to help meet the increased growth in demand. So per the FDA, Levanova is now permitted to modify cardiopulmonary bypass products. Um, like you guys are probably already aware, um, there are indications for use to include ECMO therapy for greater than six hours. On the screen here is a list of all of our, all of our products that have that extended authorization. Um, so again, feel free to reach out to your local rep if you have any questions, or you can find more information at levanova.com slash coronavirus. So like I previously said, we fully commercially launched our new LifeSpark pump and controller this past July, which was really exciting to finally be able to share with our customers. So the LifeSpark system is based off more than 20 years of experience with our previous generation products, but is still fully redesigned. The LifeSpark pump itself, which you can see here next to the controller, is mag now partially magnetically levitated with a single uh, pivot bearing. The LifeSpark controller, you can see it's as kind of as small as it looks. It's really compact. It has a super simple interface, so it's easy to learn, it's easy to manage, really shifting the focus away from the device and allowing you guys all as providers and the team to really manage the patient instead of just the device. So together, the LifeSpark pump and controller provide more power than our previous generation generating up to five to six liters per minute of flow with peripheral cannulation and obviously even greater flows with central cannulation. So, the, <clears throat> excuse me, the simplicity and the setup um, of the setup and the management of this system together really does allow for more patients in more places. We're seeing um, not only um, support initiated in the cath lab and the OR, but very frequently in the intensive care units and also in the emergency departments. So I want to share just a few ECMO for COVID success stories as we all continue to deal with these tough times. So Emily here on the left was a healthy 22 year old, you know, went to visit friends, started having COVID symptoms. After four days of symptoms, she went to her local emergency department where she was very quickly intubated. She continued to deteriorate and was ultimately transferred to St. Louis University Hospital for ECMO support. There she was on support. She was successfully decannulated and she ultimately was discharged about a month later. She's now at home doing well, continuing to recover. On the right here is Brandon, another really young patient, 29 year old youth minister 
who after 11 days of COVID, having COVID, he was tested positive, 11 days of symptoms, he just felt terrible. He went to his local emergency department where he was almost immediately intubated. They told him, you know, call your wife and say goodbye. Um, and then they intubated him and he doesn't remember anything else for, you know, a month later. He was on ECMO for a month, ultimately went to rehab to, you know, regain his strength and recover. And then he was actually discharged home the day before Christmas, which was really exciting for him um, since he had been in the hospital since October or in rehab. Um, so he was really excited to be able to share this holiday and spend it with his family. And then the middle picture here is just a patient standing up, working with physical therapy on ECMO support with a Protec Duo cannula. Um, you can see that he's extubated there as well. Um, just trying to you know, maintain some strength, recover a little bit um, while still, and maintain some sense of normalcy in real life um, while still being supported and recovering for this, uh, from this disease. So I think it's positive to all kind of, you know, everyone's been overwhelmed this last year. We, we need to think of the positive success stories as well when we see so much bad happening. So you can find us on social media, Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn, all of our handles are here on the right hand side. And then on the bottom here are a couple of our webinars that you can find on Leave Nova campus. Um, so these webinars are, you can find them live, um, but if you miss them, you can also find them later on demand. So there's a couple examples here. We did one recently on ECLS care models, uh, one for ECMO and COVID. The middle one is actually happening today, um, covering blood gas monitoring, just a, a discussion of that. Um, so like I said, they're available live, but also on demand. So I would encourage everyone to go to Leave Nova campus where you can find past and future webinars and you can also find a bunch of other you know, educational materials as well. And then most of all, thank you to all you healthcare providers for everything that you do day in and day out, but especially over this past year during these really tough and super busy times. Um, if you have any questions, my email is here to the right or you can obviously always reach out to your local Leave, Leave Inova or Tandem Life, Repre Tandem Life representative as well. Hi everyone, my name is Paul Buckman and I'm the president of North America for Levanova. With this short video, I am reaching out to all of you with some personal reflections from this past year. Hopefully the type of year that only happens once in a lifetime. Let me begin by offering a heartfelt thank you for your heroic efforts as frontline healthcare workers in a year truly like no other in my memory. You collectively have faced significant and truly unprecedented challenges, including a new virus, limited personal protection equipment supply, long and tedious hours taking care of patients and customers, personal and family illnesses, and of course the list goes on and on. Not surprisingly, you did all of this with a selfless dedication that is both admired and appreciated by many. Despite these hurdles, you overcame the adversities of COVID-19 and made continued progress towards improving healthcare delivery for many people in need. For these efforts, we are all in your debt. Also because of your efforts, many more lives have been saved than lost, infection and mortality rates have been reduced, and many families have been reunited. You should all be very, very proud of these accomplishments. From a medical industry perspective, we were also severely challenged in 2020, but together we learned and we prevailed to a greater extent than any of us expected. Levanova was successful in obtaining expanded indications for use with some of our key products. And we continue to hear stories from the field of our customers using Levanova products to treat COVID patients successfully. As you might imagine, this serves as additional reinforcement towards our commitment to what we do every day as a medical device manufacturer. On a personal note, I've visited quite a number of customers in 2020 and learned that the needs of our customers have remained largely as they were. New products that improve outcomes and reduce the cost of delivering quality health care, training, education, and procedural support for the products and therapies we provide, clinical and economic evidence supporting the utilization of our products and therapies, and last but not least, consistent and dependable quality of our products and services. Please be assured that Levanova continues to invest in all of the above, as evidenced by one of the highest research and development investment ratios in the industry at greater than 14% of revenues. Having now entered the new year, we have many exciting activities in store for Levanova in 2021, and we look forward to getting past the pandemic and back to whatever the new normal will be. 
Thank you again for your support of our products and for everything you do on a daily basis to help patients. My best to all of you for a healthy and prosperous 2021.